Foxconn, the company responsible for making iPhones, is now building EVs. The Foxconn produced Lordstown Endurance electric truck is now in production. But the Taiwan-based tech giant is not stopping there. They very well could be working with Germany-based Volkswagen to build EV pickups and SUVs in America. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. My name's Kirk, and this is my second YouTube channel. My first one focuses mainly on Japanese and Korean cars. I'm trying to expand my interests a little bit, expand the brand, and this channel will be focused on anything electrified coming to the market from battery electric vehicles to upcoming hybrids as well as anything exciting from the hydrogen camp as well. So come along with me as we watch this amazing auto industry evolve with electrification in the coming years. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon and I can't wait to have you along with me. Over in automotive news, Volkswagen can partner with Foxconn to revive the Scout brand in the United States. We heard rumors that Volkswagen, well, they came out with these concept images of the Scout. First thing we heard is that Volkswagen would be selling it directly to customers. They would be like sidestepping their dealer network to sell these electric vehicles, which is not going to fly well with the Volkswagen dealership network. Learning from Tesla, they can stuff their pockets with a little bit extra cash if they sell directly to consumer. But if it's being built by someone else, they're already reducing their profits a little bit. So let's get into this fun article here and stay afterwards because we'll talk about Volkswagen and Northvolt and how they could be bringing more business to the United States instead of Europe. Things are getting crunchy uh, in Europe right now. Automotive News is getting this information coming from Germany from their German sister site. Foxconn started manufacturing the Lordstown Endurance pickups in September after buying the company's Ohio facility bought by Lordstown from General Motors in 2019. So it's like passing the baton of this factory. GM had it. Lordstown bought it. Lordstown needed a, a cash pump up and they got it from Foxconn. Foxconn essentially is by far the largest uh, majority owner in Lordstown right now. And Volkswagen said in May, it plans to revive the long dormant Scout off-road nameplate that acquired last year when its heavy truck brand merged with Navistar. Now, the Scout was used by International Harvester for its off-road from 1960 to 1980. A little before my time, I probably have seen them at some point in time in my life, but probably just thought they were a Ford Bronco. And Foxconn last month unveiled two new electric vehicle prototypes, highlighting its ambitions to become a major car manufacturer, hoping to reproduce that magic that they have with phones into the EV automobile industry. Now, Volkswagen is smart. They're talking to multiple different uh, resources here. Could Magnesteer do it as well? They produce well, a lot of vehicles out of their Austria plant, for example, the, the BMW Zs as well as uh, the Toyota Supra is built by Magna Steer over there as well. Magna Steer is owned by Magna International, one of the biggest automotive companies out there. Most most people probably don't know that, but they are. They, they're a massive supplier, and they're considering of opening a plant here in the United States. So would you be interested in a VW Scout pickup? I mean, that's a big part of the industry. People are really excited for electric pickup trucks. Um, look, even from the, the small hybrid Maverick all the way to the Ford F-150 Lightning to the GMC Hummer. People, people are excited. Well, and the Rivians is too. Like there's, there's a lot of options out there now with Lordstown too. So I think Volkswagen is going to produce electric pickup trucks and SUVs. But with who is going to be the big question. I'll see you down below on that one. And we're switching gears over to Northvolt. Northvolt, I didn't know, was heavily invested by Volkswagen. I don't really cover Volkswagen on my other channel. But I do talk about Volvo from time to time. And I knew Volvo worked with Northvolt. But they're looking to build a plant here in the United States to take advantage of the extra incentives. Northvolt is a little bit scared to invest heavily in Europe right now with the uncertainty. A big part of it, of course, due to the war going on in Eastern Europe. But more importantly, like what is how does that affect building and energy costs and manufacturing. Well, 
it's so expensive to get energy there in Europe right now that the profitability will sink. I have a Volvo S60 recharge in the driveway right now. It just arrived today. That'll be one of the first electrified vehicle reviews here on the channel. So definitely stay tuned for my review on that. I'll also post it on my main channel as well. Slightly different variant of it. So Northvolt, the Swedish manufacturer, will decide next year whether to build the Haida factory in northern Germany in time for production to start in late 2025 or expand its first plant in North America. Northvolt spokesman Jasper Wigard says, given what is happening in North America and what is happening in Europe, on the other hand, with energy prices, not the least, we are during next year going to decide what to prioritize. A decision in favor of North America might delay the German plant a bit. The Haida plant for Germany is expected to produce its first cells in late 25 with commercial output starting the following year. Its capacity will be 60 gigawatt hours, which is enough for about 1 million EVs. And they're hoping to benefit from abundant wind and power suppliers in North Germany. Volkswagen is hoping to have six battery factories across Europe in 2030. One of them at least would be with Northvolt. Now Northvolt with Volvo are planning a joint battery manufacturing plant in Gothenburg, Western Sweden. And those will supply Volvos, of course, and Polestar cars as well. That will begin in 2025. If it comes to the United States, I mean, Volvo absolutely would be able to take advantage of that new Northvolt battery plant as well as Volkswagen. And if they have enough capacity, whoever else wants to come in and take a bid, for the North Volt batteries. But that concludes our electrified news today. Kirk E Cars, I hope you guys enjoyed the channel. Again, if you want to stay up to date on electrified news, make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching my first video on my second channel, and we'll see where this thing goes. Thank you for watching. Take care of yourselves and have a great day.